All right, I'm going to do a video debunking the Roman Catholic interpretation of John chapter 6, verse 53 to 54, because this is the part of the scripture that Catholics will always run to in defense of their mass. And they'll say, see, look, you know, I'll read it for you. And, and you're going to see why they've run to this passage and show you why, how they're basically interpreting it and how the priest is basically interpreting it for them is incorrect. And then Jesus said to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Verse 54, Whosoever eat, or Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I, raise, and I will raise him up at the last day. They'll say, See, look, he's telling us to eat the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. Despite the fact that it contradicts scores of scripture, like in the book of Corinthians, where it talks about how it's we do it in remembrance of him. But here's the thing, they'll take that verse and they'll say, See, look, it's talking about eating the flesh and blood. Okay? Why don't they read how come they don't read the next couple of verses? Because here here's what the verse is actually talking about. Okay? I'm gonna read the next couple of verses, which is what they don't do. They stop at, at verse fifty four, but they don't read the next three verses. So, I mean the next four verses. Verse 55, For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Verse 56, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. But look at verse 57, As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he, he that eateth me, even shall he live by me. Hmm. If you notice this verse, look at what he's comparing it to. Notice, notice how he says, As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, and talks about, even he shall live by me. So, we basically, what he's saying here is that the Catholics will say, See, look, we have to eat the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. So he that eateth me, even shall he live by me. What is he, what is he comparing it to? You see, he's not saying we have to eat the physical flesh and blood. He's saying, as we live by him, he lives by the Father. Okay? So he that eateth me, even shall he live by me. It's not talking about eating the physical flesh and blood. Because if he was talking about that, first of all, that would violate Leviticus chapter 17, which clearly condemns drinking, eating flesh and drinking blood. But second of all, he's comparing it. He's saying, as we live by him, he lives by the Father. So if we had to eat the physical flesh and blood of Jesus Christ, that would mean that he would have had to eat the physical flesh and blood of God the Father. Which is ridiculous. Verse 58, this is the bread that came down from heaven, as, not as your fathers did eat manna, are dead, he that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Jesus is the bread of life. Salvation is through him, not through eating that cracker at the Mass. So, see what he's comparing it to. You see, they stop at verse 54, but they don't read the next couple of verses. Jesus is that bread of life. Okay? It's not talking about eating the physical flesh and blood. We live by him. He is the bread of life. Salvation is through Jesus Christ. He that eateth th this bread of this bread, meaning salvation, shall eat forever and ever, or shall live forever. Okay? That's what he's comparing it to. That's what he's talking about. Okay? If we had to eat the physical flesh and blood of Jesus Christ, according to verse 57, he would have had to eat the physical flesh and blood of God the Father. It's talking about we live by him as he lives by the Father. He is the bread of salvation. Okay? So I just want to do this video debunking this Roman Catholic uh, interpretation. This is like the main, you go to the Roman Catholic Instagram page, especially pre-Vatican II. This is their go-to passage they'll always run to, to prove the Mass. All you got to do is just tell them, read the next couple of verses. Just show them the next couple of verses and show them that Jesus is talking about how he's the bread of salvation. It's not talking about eating his physical flesh and blood. And how he's comparing it that as we live by him, he lives by the Father. So, anyway, thank you for watching. God bless you. Goodbye.